Hello YouTube. Today is Friday and we have a mixed day in the market. We have the Dow that just started a downward trend and we have the NASDAQ that is starting an upward trend recovering from a little bit of red here down 24.35 and then we have the S&P 500 that is starting to push forward again from a small gain and out of the last five days four of the days were a down market day so this got me thinking that I need to get my head straight about dealing with um, bad days in the market it's gonna go up it's gonna go down and I have to learn to adjust because I'm new at this I'm not a financial advisor I'm a retired car mechanic so this got me thinking about the uh, E-Trade portfolio analysis tools that they provide. And you can see that I put about, I, I did put $20,000 into this account and I'm a new guy, like I said, and I made some mistakes and I'm going to make videos about where that $600 went to. Um, I'm hoping that you'll subscribe and that you'll come along for the ride. Some of you might think that it's comical. Some of you might learn from my mistakes. I'm not sure exactly how you guys will take it, but I sure do hope that you'll come uh, take a look at the videos as I produce them. And back to the uh, risk analysis tool, I'm sure that your brokerage has some kind of tool like this. So I'm just going to show you what the E-Trade version looks like. And E-Trade has a risk grade for your entire portfolio. And you can see that my risk rate is 29, which is on the conservative side. And as a retired individual, that, that's exactly where I want to be. They provide some risk grade details. And they actually put a red dot next to my most um, volatile stock, uh, my riskiest stock, which happens to be the Bitcoin Strategy Income ETF. It has a risk grade of 177 and compare that to my bond ETF that has a risk grade of 26 or even my uh, I have an index fund here uh, with a risk grade of four so this these two help compensate for my Bitcoin endeavors and you know Bitcoin is like a roller coaster ride and Sometimes I get nauseous on roller coaster rides. So this uh, part this part of the tool was a surprise to me. And what they do is they let you select different historical events and apply them to your portfolio. So you can see how your particular stocks would have made out in this um, downward trend. And you have to remember, we'll go ahead and select uh, Black Monday that each event kind of focused on different areas of the stock market. So if your portfolio was heavy in technology or if your portfolio was uh, heavy in uh, medical stocks or, or real estate, you would experience different amounts of pullback during these historical events. So you know, Black Monday was, I happen to remember that one. Uh, it was back in 1987 and the stock market went down 22 percent that is a huge pullback um, apply that to my current portfolio and the pullback really wouldn't have been that bad for me uh, 2.45 percent decline and my 19,000 would still barely be 19,000 um, let's apply a different event we'll do the dot-com bubble and this is only negative 2.14 percent now it does say you know past performance does it does not indicate future results but it kind of gives you an idea okay we're gonna stay logged on sorry about that and we'll move on to another event feel free to pause and read this paragraph that it was, these are extremely fascinating events and not everybody is going to remember each individual event. Let's go for the financial crisis in 2008 
And now we're starting to tick up in my portfolio, down 3.55%. And that is quite a bit of drop. That was back in 2007 through 2009. And then finally, let's uh, take a look at the uh, September 11th. Of course, all of us remember those terrible events, and it did have an impact on the stock market. In my particular portfolio, it would have only gone down 0.61%. Um, but everybody's going to have different results because your, our individual portfolios are going to be heavy in one area, less heavy in another. And at the top of this um, analysis page, you can see that I'm, I'm heavy in large cap stocks which are probably more stable. And uh, my bonds, are, they're about 13.8%. But in events like Black Monday and uh, the financial crisis in 2008, the bond market is going to be a lot steadier because they're fixed returns. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And I'm hoping that you'll uh, subscribe.